<clears throat> well, in this work, I see either an eagle or a crazy rooster with flowers coming out of his mouth or beak. He has, he has like beautiful wings, colorful, a pretty long tail. His nails are a different color. And it looks like he has a shield on his chest. I guess it's protecting him from something because it looks like it wants to attack too. What do you see? I see an eagle slash, I guess, kind of a chicken, but it's not quite chicken. Like those fighting chicken, I guess. Or goose, I guess, what they call them. <laughs> um, um, yeah, with, uh, I, I think this is a flower. I don't actually think it's an armor because... Back then, I don't think they can make an armor for a chicken or an eagle because it kind of matches with what this area is, I think. But it's very colorful and beautiful. Go. What do you think it's about? Um, I think it's about basically violence. Uh, it's about fighting war it's kind of representing attack is what i think yeah i agree with you because i do see an attacking rooster or like it's ready for for a fight and like i said it's, it looks like a shield to me so it's like getting ready for something How do you know? Um, what may this art have meant to someone in its original context? I feel like this artwork could have meant to someone as a defeat they had and conquered it and its reward was the flower he's showing off to everybody. That's correct. I agree with you 100%. How does it, how does it, how, how does its meaning change with its new context, context within the museum? It changed the meaning because it, the rooster was an owl, but everything else is correct. And because it represented war and conquest. Yeah, we were we were wrong on the bird because it's known as the owl of war, but the rest was correct. Explain the positive aspects of the museum. I feel like the positive aspects of the museum having this artwork is because who wouldn't want to show victory and have a piece of achievement in their museum? I totally disagree with you. I mean, I kind of think it is kind of showing it off, but at the same time, I don't think any, I don't see any peace in it. It's kind of like a war and like, it's negative, not a positive for me. Explain the negative aspects of this museum owning this, owning and displaying this artwork. I have nothing against it, but it's kind of negative and it's like red and it's kind of representing blood and the war that happened in the past. And it's not positive impact. As soon as you look at it, you remember um, the history you hear, you heard about all the negatives and all the blood blessed. Okay, yeah, I totally agree with you on that. I do see where you're coming from. I mean, the background, I feel like it's blood. Like, he might be on somebody's blood again. Like, maybe he's showing off for something he did bad. Like, I do see a lot of negative on this, but... It's basically representing a power. 
I think, over so many negative things that happened. Basically, yeah. it came out to them as positive at that time, to the artist, but it was very negative when you look at it. Yes, I totally agree with you. How might this experience in interpreting the work change your life? It did not change my life. Um, but it's kind of dragging you to the past where it's like negative. Kind of, you look at it, it's like a memory, but not a positive influence at this moment. Yes, I totally agree. It's just, I don't think this would change my life. It just really will take me to the past and how bad it was because, like I said before, the red looks like blood and like, it doesn't look like anything peaceful. Interpretation compared to what the museum or art artists say about the work. My interpretation was half correct and half wrong because a bird was a was an owl instead of a rooster like I called it or an eagle but the rest was correct with the war and conquest and I totally agree with you um, we had the idea of uh, the whole painting looking like a rooster but I don't know how they see it as an owl because uh, first of all owl does not symbolize um, war it's basically peaceful but if it was a rooster, I could understand. So, it was kind of a misconception as soon as you look at it. I feel that if a non-Western looks at it, I feel like they would have a different perspective over the painting. For an example, my friend Fatuma, she's from Africa and she can pretty much tell you a lot more of how she would see this. Thank you. very positive influence because red means positive. It doesn't mean negative. When you see it, it's like a very kind of festival-ish background. You don't see it as blood or evil or negative or war, but you see it as a happy and kind of celebration.